I couldn't decide which shade to get, so I bought them all. This will be a business expense. <laughs> Well, hello everyone, it's me, Christine, again. And today we are testing Fancy Luxury Expensive Nail Polish by Gucci. I'm just gaga for Gucci. I'm just kidding, I don't give a sh- Gucci. 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 First, let me get this out of the way. I don't care about fancy designer brands. Maybe when I was 16, you could convince me that I needed that Club Monaco sweater. Or when I was a teenager, I remember that you were only cool if you had the real Adidas tearaways, not the knockoffs with the two stripes which is what I had. But as a 32 year old lady, I could care less about paying drastically overinflated prices for a logo or a label that is apparently a reflection of some kind of social status. I am willing to pay for quality materials, good craftsmanship, but if you're asking me to pay $600 for a t-shirt, it better come with batteries, a screen, and the latest version of iOS. I do think that the cultural impact of luxury brands like Gucci have on our society is fascinating, however, and how much people buy into the symbolic ideal of consumption. And for the business of the luxury brands, well, I can only imagine those thick profit margins. Gucci is like thicky thicky. <laughs> but if you happen to be a consumer of Gucci goods, don't listen to me, I'm just simply illogical. I'm not here to tell anyone what to do with their money. I don't care what you do with yours. I just hope that you have some left if you're shopping at Gucci. Okay, now get in, loser. We're going shopping. Gucci.com. Presenting Verni à Angle. Am I on the French website? No, this is the English. <laughs> Why do brands use French just to sound fancy? <laughs> Inspired by vintage bottles, the newest collection of Gucci nail polish reflects the eclectic spirit of the house with a capital H through a range of high shine, vibrant colors. Really? Most of these colors don't look that vibrant to me. View all. Look at these hen poses. 10 cremes, that's it? You don't even have top coat? Base coat? Special effects toppers? <laughs> Anything but cremes? <laughs> That's fine, they're, just, they're going for classic. They're, they do it on purpose. It's unironically the basics, you know? Like, what are they saying? You don't need a top coat? Instructions are unclear. 39 Canadian dollars. I personally wanna know if it's a good product. Am I just paying for branding? Let's find out. <laughs> Any website that has you put Mrs. or Miss or Mr. before your name during checkout, yeah, you know you're being overcharged. Yes, that's me, Mrs. Simply Now Logical. <laughs> no, you may not save my credit card information to my wallet. Gucci says I may also like this lipstick, so I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> Anyone else notice Gucci's licensing spree? I mean, the number of collabs they're doing? There's the North Face X Gucci celebrating the spirit of discovery. What is this? Do mountain climbers care about sleeping in a $4,000 Gucci tent? You gotta be careful though, it's such a collector's item that a bear might kill you for it. And we've got the Disney X Gucci Donald Duck collection. Why? Quack, quack. Is this supposed to be a children's line? I don't understand. I don't understand. Oh look, there's a collab with Ban. Look at those little Gucci gang cats. It looks like Menchie gang. What do you think, Menchie? You could be in the Menchie Gucci gang. Ooh, a fit predictor. Select a similar designer that fits you. I.e. Alexander McQueen or Balencia. Wow, I don't own either of those. Thanks for telling me I don't belong here. <laughs> and then more recently, Gucci collabed with 100 Thieves, which is, for those who don't know, according to their own description, the premier lifestyle brand and gaming organization. The Gucci X 100 Thieves collab was widely anticipated by the esports slash gaming influencer world. And when they announced what it was, it was a backpack. Yeah! One backpack for $2,500. 
unclear if it can fit a gaming console. Don't get me wrong, I think it's really cool that a fashion giant is recognizing the gaming world, and obviously I can see why gaming influencers would have felt honored to participate in this, to be a part of it, and you know, get that bag, right? But at the same time, it's gotta be pretty weird to choose to be an ambassador for a brand that you know that 99% of your audience isn't going to be able to reasonably afford. And as an influencer myself, knowing that some fans do have a parasocial relationship with you, I actually think it's kind of f***ed up to sell this idea that a $2,500 backpack is cool. Anyways, Anyways, let's paint our nails. Gucci mail, they wrote me a letter. What am I getting invited to dinner with the king? Thank you for shopping with us at Gucci.com. We hope that you enjoy your Gucci purchase. Each item has been skillfully designed and made using the highest quality materials by Italian artisans. Is that true of their nail polish? <laughs> oh my god, this is my first luxury unboxing haul. Look at this wonderful bag. Cody. Oh yeah, that's right. Cody purchased Gucci, just like it purchased everyone else. <laughs> this color makes me want to touch grass. What's this? Another bag? Making sure I got my whole order. <laughs> All right, first we gotta take off this peasant nail polish. Gucci Guilty Black, new fragrances for him. And for her. And before seven moms from Facebook come at me, call me a hypocrite for I don't know, wearing a Lululemon hoodie during this video while criticizing Gucci, I think there's a big difference between paying a slightly inflated price in large part for quality versus paying a clearly, clearly overinflated price just for brand name. Like there is no way that a cotton t-shirt should cost $600. <laughs> Linda. As a person who is obsessed with and knowledgeable about nail polish, I find it very strange that there is no mention of using a base coat or a top coat. My guess is because they don't sell one, they're just not mentioning it. If it's not by Gucci, then I don't want it. <laughs> so we're just gonna raw dog it with no base coat. Ooh, what color should I pick? I definitely wanna try the white, the black, this sea foam color. Go for a classic red and maybe the blue. You guys will sit on my shelves for next season. <laughs> we only paint five nails on this channel. Let's see how it applies. It's a little uneven, but that could just be my nail because I'm not wearing a base coat. <laughs> my nails have been a little rough lately from all the swatching to be completely transparent. Let's do a second coat. In two coats, it applied fine. I don't really have much to say other than I could get this same color and product for much less than $40 from another brand. <laughs> Any other brand, really. I've mentioned this before on business podcasts related to Holo Taco. Creme nail polish has the highest profit margin of all the different types of nail polish because it contains the least expensive type of pigments or ingredients, which is just further proof that this $40 price tag is not substantiated by what is actually in the bottle. The Gucci red, this better be called Gucci red, is it? Goldie red. What is goldy red? All right, let's do a test and see if you can tell which polish is Gucci. We are disappointed, but not surprised. And I was not expecting it to be a one coat black, but this is pretty bad. All right, let's test out Gucci's white winter set snow. Hmm. You know, not as milky as I thought. The white polish is actually better than the black polish, in my opinion. Let's do a second coat. Marking up nail polish just for the brand name is really strange to me. Like, I understand on clothes, when you add a logo or a label, you can wear that label and say, look what I'm wearing, and therefore I'm worth $600. But with nail polish, you just paint the paint on your nails, and then no one knows it's Gucci. We're gonna need Gucci to come out with a polish where you paint it on your nails, and then the words Gucci come out, and then, 
they can charge $400. I get that you're also paying for the bottle with the name that you might display on your counter. But again, at this price point, it just comes back to paying for the brand name and not the product that's actually inside the bottle. Let's go in with Dorothy Turquoise. I'm really trying not to be overly hypocritical just because it's Gucci and I think that's, you know, frou-frou. This brush is so thick, I find it hard to work with. Like thick from a, not a width perspective, but a depth perspective. It's like painting with a thick paintbrush, the same size as the ones that you'd paint around the moldings of your windows. No, anyone? <laughs> so even though Gucci doesn't say anything about putting on a top coat, I think we can all agree looking at this that it's missing a top coat. <laughs> They weren't seriously thinking that you weren't gonna add a top coat, were they? That's just what you do. You put top coat over your nail polish to seal it in, to make it shiny. We gotta make that $40 last the weekend, okay? I just feel bad for their customers who maybe don't realize that. Or wait, do I feel bad for Gucci customers? Maybe not. All right, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Are my nails Gucci goo? Gucci goo. Hold on, we've gotta turn the bottle so you can see the name. And now, they're high fashion. Oh wait, what's that? On my other hand, it's a gunmetal metallic foil flake polish with a coat of everything taco unicorn skin and hollow taco toppers on top. Gucci can't relate. <clears throat> Objectively speaking, trying not to be biased here, the cremes were fine. On par with the uh, good enough cremes you can find in the drugstore, except for the black. Black was pretty bad. <laughs> They're just not worth $40 when you can find the same product for at least half the price. And people know this, but they still buy it. <laughs> also, I was doing some research and it looks like Gucci already released some of these shades last year. <laughs> I see a black, a white, a red, a green, and a mint that look awfully familiar, just in a different bottle. <laughs> so what is it with rich people and their luxury brands? The concept of conspicuous consumption was first articulated by the economist and sociologist Thorstein Veblen to describe how upper classes displayed their wealth as a means of publicly manifesting their social power and prestige. If I'm buying a $600 Gucci shirt, I'm probably not buying it because I think the t-shirt itself has some intrinsic value, but instead because it's a public display of social status. Look at me, I have so much money that I can spend $600 on a Mickey Mouse t-shirt. And who decides that a $600 Mickey Mouse t-shirt is fashion? The French sociologist Pierre Bourdieu argued that it's not just people with a lot of money that determine what constitutes taste within society, but rather individuals with cultural capital. This is really a question of who within our society has the credentials to determine what is culturally valuable. And maybe Gucci recognizes that influencers have a monopoly on what the next generation of shoppers think is culturally relevant. But ultimately, it's people with a lot of money who have the freedom to assign value to objects that is completely divorced from their utility. If I don't have a lot of money, I expect objects to fulfill a function. I value a t-shirt as something that I can wear. You have to be in a certain tax bracket to decide that a Mickey Mouse t-shirt is worth that $600. But if you're an influencer with millions of followers and millions of dollars, you can make that value judgment and you can influence your audience into thinking that a Mickey Mouse t-shirt is in fact worth $600. And hey, maybe you can sleep at night on that pile of $600 Mickey Mouse t-shirts. What say you, ContraPoints? Ooh woo? Now what does one do with such fancy Gucci nails? It was a name that sounded so sweet, so seductive, synonymous with work, style, power, mensch. You are mensch. You need to dress the part. Family, can you keep a secret? Father, son, house of Manchu. All right, everybody. 
Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Subscriptions will now cost $500 because this is a luxury channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye.